Dr. Neeta Sapre. Surgical site infections are commonly encountered after cesarean sections and hysterectomies. Mostly, the pathogens are from the patient's endogenous flora, such as Staphylococcus aureus, coagulates, negative Staphylococcus, Enterococci, and E. coli. There are many risk factors involved, such as obesity, anemia, diabetes, and immunocompromised states of the patient. There are one factors such as hematoma and ischemia or foreign body. And operative factors such as long duration of surgery, intraoperative contamination. Surgical site infections are classified as superficial, deep, involving the muscles and fascia, and intra-abdominal. For management, we need to consider patient's comorbidities and assess the depth of infection and then investigate. We need to send a wound swab, complete blood count and CRP, urine and vaginal cultures in case of uncertainty and blood cultures when the temperature is high and abscess is suspected. We must drain the abscess wherever it is and administer proper antibiotics. Consider broad spectrum antibiotics such as co-amoxiclav as first line therapy. For severely unwell patients, give piperacillin and tazobactam. If a multi-resistant strain is suspected, carbapenems are a better choice. In case of septic shock, add IV gentamicin. For cellulitis, we can give clindamycin. When there is a risk of MRSA infection, add a glycopeptide such as vancomycin. This should take care of all the post-operative uh, wound infections. Thank you very much.